Dear Diary, so where do I ever begin? Well, it all started with a letter. I got a letter in the mail, which was pretty special because who ever even gets mailed letters anymore? It was an invitation to join my middle school science class on an amazing adventure. It is with great pleasure that I write to inform you that you have been accepted as a member of the science team aboard the Raja Laut. It's exploration of the Mercury Archipelago in Myanmar. To take place March 28th to April 3rd, 2014. As part of this team, you will be contributing to a report that investigates this question. Should the Mercury Archipelago be designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Could it really be true? We were going on a school expedition to Myanmar, also known as Burma, for a week, and we were going to live on the Rajalau. For six weeks, we tried to become experts in our own teams. We learned from a lot of people, not just our teacher at school. The cultural anthropology team, Grace, Rianne, and Eliza worked with Mrs. Greenberg during our learning weeks to read articles, blog, and make podcasts. They even got special permission from the director to preview a documentary called No Word for Worry before it was released to the rest of the world. They worked really hard to learn about how modern times and change affected the Mokan people, sea gypsies, who live on these wooden boats called kabangs, which are just made out of trees. They fish in the ocean every day with a harpoon or just their bare hands. They pick up shells because they're precious to them. They know way more about the ocean than we do, and they can hold their breath underwater way longer than us, like five minutes. The physical sciences team, Iggy, Russell, Zach, and Brandon, Learn from Dr. Pompey, Dr. Blutton, and Mr. Marquesas. They built a ripple maker and clay boats. They also made a star finder and built their own star maps while they studied constellations, navigation, sailing, and tides. They even went on a sailing trip one weekend to practice. The life sciences team learned from Miss Vicky, Mr. Kyle, and Miss Pang, where they learned about creatures and the importance of biodiversity. They did simulated coral growth, created a mangrove display, and studied habitats of creatures in the intertidal zones. On our first day of class, I was given you, my journal book, so I could write my experiences and remember them forever. By the way, you're super cool, all leather bound with special paper, and I definitely feel like I'm an old explorer bringing you around under my arm. We left Hong Kong and arrived in Phuket. We spent one day there and took a four hour drive from Phuket to Rangnong, which is a Thai port for a river shared by both Thailand and Burma. The boat ride was exciting. We saw a little red buoy in the middle of the river, which was the border. We crossed it and we were finally in Burma. We saw the Raja Lao, our boat. She was huge and really beautiful. We all got on board, were given bunks and roommates. The mornings were spent for breakfast and reflecting in you, our journal, and the days were spent doing lots of fun things like snorkeling, hiking, and visiting villages. It was mostly super hot and dry, but there were a couple days we were able to hoist the sails. At night, we looked at the stars led by our navigators and searched for planets and the International Space Station. We also lowered an underwater camera to see what creatures swam below. Snorkeling was one of my favorite parts. It was the first time I got to see fish in the ocean and not in aquariums or as pets. It was also the first time I saw jellyfish and sea urchins. Most of the fish were small, but the big ones didn't approach my side. I loved how jellyfish looked transparent and some were so small. It was also my first time seeing a mahi-mahi and eating one of the day it was caught. Ben, our boat chef, sliced it into pieces. You can probably already tell that I'm pretty much a city kid. Even though I'm a sailor on weekends and Hong Kong is, is also a small archipelago in the South China Sea, being out in the Andaman Sea was still a unique and amazing experience. We had mostly clear days. We passed green islands and even some mangroves along the shoreline. When we went on the hike, there were trees so high you couldn't even see the tops. Led by Kyle, we were on a serious hunt 
for the great hornbill since it is a threatened species. It was hard because a lot of us weren't used to the heat. We had mud covering our shoes, some insect bites, and the sun beating down hard on our backs. But it was worth it because at the end we found the hornbill on the other side of the island. That week we visited three villages in search of Moken people. We knew how to identify their boats. They were made out of one trunk with notches at the bottom. We only saw one real Moken boat the whole time and it made me really sad because I remember in the documentary I watched and how it seemed true that soon they would be lost forever. In three villages we we found only one Moken boy. He was pretty shy and his Remy's friend spoke for him. At eight years old, he could already hold his breath for three minutes, which is longer than me, and I'm a seventh grader. We saw their school and we taught them some games. We brought little Fuji Instax cameras so we could give them their own photographs. We saw their villages and peeked into their lives. I saw that their lives had changed from what we had studied. They used to eat from plates made out of leaves, which are biodegradable, but now they had lots of plastic, and that wasn't biodegrading so fast. So that's why we made this little video. We hope people will watch it and want to be part, a part of preserving the great things about such an amazing place and people. We really wanted to do something about the plastic, but we didn't want to offend anyone by cleaning up their village for them, so we decided to do a beach cleanup on a small beach of Owe Island. We did a cleanup along with 60 to 70 meter stretch of the beach. With gloves, bags, charts, and pencils, we gathered the garbage we saw and then tallied the items as we put them in. After that, we collected all of the garbage and tied it securely to a very high tree so it could be picked up by one of the boats on the way back to Kowtong for dis proper disposal. We shared our data with Kristen from the San Diego Coast Keepers, since tracking beach garbage is definitely important when studying the ocean. On one of our last days there, we split up into little groups and talked about the things we saw and the lives people lived. It was hard for everyone to agree that one decision was the right thing and the other decision was the wrong thing because there are so many things to consider. When we got back to Hong Kong, we had a debate to help us decide whether the Mercury should be a World Heritage Site. I'm glad to say that even though it was complicated, in the end, we agreed it should. The endangered animals, the mangroves, the fishing villages, and the Mokin, what will happen to them all if this area is not protected? We hope people will watch it and want to be part of preserving the great things in, about such an amazing place and people. I was walking down the street the other day and it occurred to me that we had a lot to learn. I remember that Mokin take only what they need and never take too much. They believe that their boats are their bodies, passing through the ocean. The notches on each end of their boats represent water passing through them from mouth to end. If we could only be more like that so we can keep track of what's important. Mokin poem. When you see a tree, you think tree. When I see a tree, I think freedom. When you dive, you see fish. When I dive, I see food. When you see a kabang, you think it's just a boat. When I see a kabang, I think it's a house. When you see the ocean, you think of beaches. When I see the ocean, I think life. When you see Thailand or Myanmar, you think holiday. When I see Thailand or Myanmar, I think trouble. When you want things, you don't actually need them. When we want things, we need them. When you see us, you think we're different, when actually, we can be the same.
jalan nge